let's just take a look at the general rules for, for line uh, 1A on the form 1040. Total amount from forms W-2 will be in that box. So we're gonna be having possibly multiple W-2s if someone worked at multiple jobs and or if you had a married filing joint situation, you could have multiple W-2s that are comprising the amount that's gonna be on the first page of the form 1040 box one. Enter the total amount from forms W-2 box one. If a joint return also includes your spouse's income from forms W-2 box one. Caution one. If you earned wages while you were on an inmate in a uh, penal institution, you will now report these amounts on Schedule 1, Line 8U. So that would be obviously somewhat of an un unusual situation, but possibly one to keep in mind. In. Do not report those wages on Line 1A. See the instructions for Schedule 1, Line 8U if you're in that situation. Caution number two. If you received a pension or annuity, from a non-qualified deferred compensation plan or a non-government section 457B plan and it was reported in box one of form W-2, do not include this amount on form 1040 of line 1A. This amount is reported on schedule one line 18. So somewhat unusual situations those two. Line 1B, household empl employee wages not reported on forms W-2. So if you have a household, if you got wages as like a household employee or are doing taxes, in that situation, it's possible that there's no W-2 information because of, of the rules and regulations due to that type of, uh, of work. And therefore, you, you'd be putting it in, in line uh, 1B instead of where you'd put one in the first line with the w-2 wages so enter the total of your wages received as a household employee that was not reported on forms w-2 an employer isn't required to provide a form w-2 to you if they paid you wages of less than two thousand four hundred dollars in 2022 so that's one of those situations remember the general rule the irs is always trying to force the payer to issue some kind of report such as a w-2 or 1099 but in some cases they can't they don't do that or they're, they're not forcing in that case because in this case you're not talking about a business situation you're talking about more of a personal like uh type of situation and therefore and the income is fairly low under a certain threshold and therefore even though you don't get a w-2 you should still need to report the income for information on employment taxes for household employees, you can see tax topic 756. Tax line uh, line 1C, tip income not reported on line 1A. So enter the total of your tip income that was not reported on form 1040 line 1A. 